Hello and welcome, James here from the Live Trade Room bringing you today's technical trading outlook. Please take a brief moment to familiarize yourself with the risks involved trading the financial markets. And we'll head straight into our trading platform, the MT4 trading platform, of course, looking at some of the Forex markets today. Our technical trading outlook for today is going to be on the cable market, the sterling against the US dollar. And the question I have to pose, guys, is sterling cheap at these levels? Okay, we're going to add some technical confluence to these levels to see how sterling is trading against the dollar at such long-term levels. First thing I'll do here is just observe the euro against the US dollar. It has traded up from a long-term level, bounced straight off such a long-term level here. If we zoom out on the price action chart, what I'll do is simply put a line at this level. You can see it retrace from uh, October 2017 lows there and trading up relatively strongly in the short term uh, from 115.74 levels. Okay, now, how does it affect the overall outlook in terms of the cable market? Well, we know the dollar is strong at the moment, but we are seeing a little lift off in starting appreciation. And of course, we are looking forward to potential interest rate rises with Mark Carney's central bank there in the UK. Now that will, of course, add an overall context to appreciating the sterling market. Let's just zoom out on the price action. I'm going to add a long-term Fibonacci just because I, I feel like we're at quite a strong level here. Um, basically, what I'm going to choose is this long-term swing low against our relative swing high right up here to the previous high there. And I'm going to place that Fibonacci retracement. Now, the reason why this is significant for me, we've had a very sharp decline in this market recently. And if I zoom in on the daily price action again, we actually see the retracement at a very, very significant level. Okay, very, very significant level here. We're seeing it just trade off the 50% retracement level if I just analyze that on the chart. Okay, so for me, I'm going to question, are these levels where we can look to get long uh, this market in terms of finding starting quite cheap at the moment? And is there going to be a larger retrace than expected here? Again, the overall trend line is up. We have had a very structural break with this long-term break. So where are we at in terms of pricing in this market? We see the dollar against the dollar index starting to come off its highs again. That might look to actually bolster some support um, on the dollar side of this market. Again, let's look at the technical charting structure here. And what I would like to do is just to bring this into the short-term outlook here. If I move into four hour price charting, I want to actually assess the momentum at these points in time, okay? So I'm going to insert some technical indication here with my MACD, okay? The moving average, convergence, divergence here. And what I can see, guys, just in terms of looking at this indicator again, we have seen a bit of a shift, albeit subdued, but a bit of a shift in terms of the momentum quite recently above nominal levels here. Now, the last time we had a shift in momentum, we've seen quite an arc structure here in terms of some strength coming into the market again. Now, that superseded for a long-term uh, price decline in this market, but that stopped at point X here. We're starting to see that price action show the similar signs here to potential movement to the upside. So that's one piece of technical indication I just want to include there. Now, what I want to do in terms of the overall trend structure to give me short-term indications to actually look to get long this market is consult our moving averages. So I go to indicators and insert a moving average. I'm going to simply select um, a more short-term 14-day moving average, okay? I'll just make that line a little larger for us to view. Now, effectively, what we're seeing is this move across very, very constructive in terms of pricing, but I want to look for a sign for a crossover to actually give us you know, a technical indication whether we can look to reverse such a long-term trend or, you know, medium to long-term trend. So again, I'll, because it's actually looking to, to observe a medium-term structure, I'm not going to use a 200-day or a 100-day simple moving average. I'm going to look at the 50-day simple moving average. I'll change the color for that, guys, so we can see in much more detail what I'm looking at. And there we have something constructive again. So let's try and analyze this. If you're familiar with moving average crossovers, when they cross over at key levels, you're looking for an overall trend structure to reverse. Now, the last time we had this, of course, was at this point right here. We've seen a large change, guys, a large change in the structure and a large move to the downside. Effectively, they cross here, but then they cross straight over again. So we see that continuation to the downside. Now, effectively, we're seeing crosses here. 
and now we're at this inflection point if i just zoom in on this price action guys i'll move it into the center so we can see we're at a bit of an inflection point just observing the four hour candlesticks okay because we see this cross here we start to see the 50 day moving average uh, start to trail up towards our 14 day moving average so if we're looking for a more medium term trade if we get this cross right at these levels i.e this start to just move up and cross levels as the 14 day moving average shifts as well we'll get a crossover around such a level here and that might constitute a trade but perhaps up to a 23.6 percent retracement level before showing us any volatility so we're starting to get some momentum coming into the trade at such levels here we may look for a crossover and again if we see the momentum start to come out of the us dollar move to the upside which we're seeing in the dollar index and across the euro the euro dollar pair there as well then this might provide us with a technical structure for a medium uh, expectation a medium term expectation for this market to appreciate uh, and to try and get long an expectation of a june increase there or interest rate rise as well so adding some technical confluence there to the fundamental picture of how this market might move over the medium term over the course of the month here in june so that brings us to the end of today's technical trading outlook thank you very much for joining us here at the live trade room we'll see you next time bye for now